speaker. That's true. That's the magic of the leader. Okay. Ah. So what other magic is there? Alright, so I've brought these copies yeah, for the guests. Do I leave them yeah, with you can them before, during, after? During, you can put them on the desk and you can, the persons can see them and get an idea of what, it looks what like. it's all about. This seat right here. Will my bag show? No, man, it's out of the shop. Right. Make sure my phone is off. I'm going to be turning to you a little. Yeah, turn to me, but every now and then you just look back at the camera because you're addressing people online. And stuff. Right. I don't do these things every day, so please no, tell me all the yeah, I need to That's perfectly fine. You're, not, you're having a conversation with me, not yeah. the camera. Don't worry about all of that stuff. Yes. Maybe you just need one. Yeah, I always need one. Uh -huh. All right, so one of the things, uh, I have a list of questions here. One of the things I wanted to do, mm -hmm. just before we get straight into it, is just to, I mean, we're going to get to it eventually, but just to define poverty, because you have it to define according to this thing, extreme versus absolute. And then from there, we can go straight into the... All right, so let me just look at the definition that's here before you start. Okay. Because, I mean, you know, persons actually feel in poverty, all poor people live in, but I mean, it has to be classified in mm -hmm, other mm -hmm, ways to mm -hmm, measure. Mm -hmm. okay.
reading yet? Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Could you do me a, a mic check so I can check the levels on the mic? Okay. Right. When I go, I want to tell you something. Okay. I can get my check, please. My check. One, two, three. Right. My check. Right. It's good there. Let me just go and then check on the other part if it's equally the same. Um, we have this one, and we have a smaller one that you pass yeah. right here as well. Right. Shelly we're trying to come up with a little catchphrase. Catch out and this. I was thinking along right. the lines of ending pop. The goal is to end poverty, but we're obviously going to elaborate and go into more greater detail as we talk about it. But it's yeah. something to pique yeah. interest at first. So I was thinking the goal, let's say the goal of the National Education, National Poverty Reduction Program yeah. is yeah, to end poverty by 2030. Is no, that, that's not that, correct. That's not correct. No, okay. No. I'd like to say that's correct. Uh, sure. No, <laughs> I want to. That's I want to get no, the. No, no. Um, Can we say we want to end extreme hunger? Because the thing is, when you see national poverty, bro, I just want something that involves the word poverty that we can create that so connecting. We are, we are that seeking to eradicate extreme poverty in four years. Okay. And so to could significantly reduce the national overall prevalence of poverty by 2030. That's what we're seeking to do. Okay, so it's extreme poverty in four in years. In four years. Oh, okay. In four years, it takes us to 2022. 2022. Mm -hmm. And yet, what. The layman understands or might understand about extreme poverty is mm -hmm. not really how it's Right, right. So, so it's well, well, as we discussed, I wanted to so define Right, so I have my definition. So we can all right, right. right. I think we should be. I do not like this in our phones. No, we want to guide um, Shelley in any way in terms of when she's speaking. Mm -hmm. Does she look at you? Is well, yeah, we look at me from, but you can look at the camera from time to time. Just adjust the camera from time to time. So, it's like you guys have it on the control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, right, so I don't want to go too much into the poverty statistics and evolutions and analysis, but as you say, provide about awareness yeah. to who we are speaking about when we say the poor. Can you get a proper title? I'm the program manager for the Poverty Reduction Coordinating Unit in the PIOJ. Oh, did I do that now, Chick? Yes, you did. I did? You did just hear me talking. <laughs> Okay, no problem. All right. And we begin, we end talking now so that we can have a clean live. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. So we have five minutes to start? It's pretty much, um, we just keep it simple because a lot of the times what would happen is we'd have the preamble. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that, we want it to be nice and clean. So, yeah, but so when I start talking, you can take the cue from me. Okay. I'm about to give the camera. The What's I'll, the go, I'll just be like, welcome. Okay. And then I'll throw it to you. And then we'll go on as, as, okay. as usual.
I meant to give the camera some 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 looking at the camera. Yes. Yes. The time, you know, <laughs> or is it you who get jealous? <laughs> <laughs> the man behind the camera. I remember the phones. And remember mm -hmm. to um keep the door closed. We will fix that so it won't you know the speaking thing won't be affecting You're sure that we're not trying, we're not broadcasting though. So work, I can just the work I imagine went into this, right? A lot. Mm. Yeah. Years. <laughs> I was reading through it. Good stuff. I think people should really be interested in what you have to say about this. I think once the topic is poverty, you're gonna get that interest. I think so too. Fine, fine. Welcome to JIS Studio 58A Live here at the Jamaica Information Service. We thank you so much to everyone joining us online. I'm your host, Vaughn Davis, and as usual, we invite you to send in your comments, your, your, your quotes, anything you want to get off your chest. We're here to listen and have our guest answer. Today, we're talking about poverty, specifically the National Poverty Reduction Program. And to speak about that is Ms. Shelly Ann Edwards, Program Manager for the Poverty Reduction Coordinating Unit at the Planning Institute of Jamaica. Welcome, Miss Edwards. Thank you very much very glad to have for you. having me. This is a topic that I'm sure will generate a lot of interest. The issue of poverty is something that Jamaicans feel very passionate about. So I'm, and I'm sure they're happy to hear that there's something specific, so, something so targeted being done to address it. But first, before we get into the program itself, can, let's, let's establish what we're talking about here. So can we define poverty as done by the PIOG as they conducted this study? Okay. Thank you very much again for having us. Mm -hmm. I am very happy to be here mm -hmm. and to really let the public know that there is a national poverty reduction program mm -hmm. that has been approved by the government of Jamaica mm -hmm. and launched recently, okay. as recent as the 21st of March okay. this year. So, of course, with everything, we have to define what it is that we are we are doing mm -hmm. and for poverty in Jamaica we use an absolute measure of mm -hmm. poverty we call the poverty line poverty line okay. yes and the poverty line is basically the minimum necessities in order for individuals and families to maintain an adequate standard of living okay so what goes into defining this poverty line is what we call a basket of food and non-food items. Okay. And these are minimum 
in order to achieve that standard of living. Just so let the, me interject yes? my basket of items. There. Can you, um, you said food and non-food food items, and, non and what kind of items, items are we talking about here? Right, so it's a number of items. Mm -hmm. Of course, the household necessities. Of course, you include your education, of course, food, mm -hmm. um, health care, what the household contributes to mm -hmm. each of these basic um, needs mm -hmm. that are there. So it's a number of items that compo uh, composite this basket. Right, this right. basket. And then it is costed. Mm -hmm. And persons who are living below this minimum are considered to be poor. Wow living in poverty as defined yes, by Yes, living right. in poverty or All right. poor. All right, and you, uh, from my research, I understand that there is an extreme poverty and absolute poverty. Can we just be specific as to how we differentiate those two things? Okay. So extreme poverty, in Jamaica, we are using our food poverty line mm -hmm. to determine extreme poverty. Mm -hmm. So those persons who are living... Um, under the food poverty line, we are considering those persons to be in extreme poverty. Mm -hmm. The national prevalence of poverty now is what would go beyond just looking at food mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to include other aspects of need and lack. Okay. All right, so talk to me about the National Poverty Reduction Program. What exactly is it? Okay, so the program is basically the government's mechanism through which it will implement the national policy on poverty. Mm -hmm. So the national policy on poverty, along with this national poverty reduction program, was approved late last year. So the policy has a number of strategies that are intended to address poverty. So the program is designed as that vehicle mm -hmm. through which these strategies can be implemented, tracked, evaluated, and supported. There are a number of sub-programs mm -hmm. under this National Poverty Reduction Program. So it's actually a coordination of the various programs that are being implemented within ministries, departments, agencies of government, as well as non-government sector. So it's a cross-cutting thing that it, it involves various government agencies it, and entities it and so It does, on. absolutely. So the approach is one of coordination. Mm -hmm. And that is where the PIOJ comes in. All right. As we are the main, we are the coordinating entity and the focal point for this program. I mean, I don't think it, it takes much to understand why the program uh, was, uh, was generated because, I mean, actually tackling poverty should be the purview of every government. Yes. But what prompted the, the, the creation of this program at, the, at this time? Okay. You mentioned that it, it had been done over years, but what was the, the thing that spurred it to begin with? Okay, so... In about 2006, mm -hmm. when we started developing the Vision 2030 Jamaica National Development Plan, mm -hmm. we recognized that there was a need for us to look at broader social protection issues, and that includes poverty um, reduction. Mm -hmm. However, as we developed this strategic plan for poverty reduction, we recognized that there was the need for a focal point there were a number of programs being implemented across agencies and sectors, mm -hmm. etc. But there was no one entity that could um, be Bring that under one umbrella. Precisely, that one um, agency with accountability for reporting on poverty reduction efforts. So, through that, a, a poverty reduction coordinating unit was developed. Okay. And one of the first things that we needed to do is to look back at that policy and programmatic framework mm -hmm. to see whether or not it was in keeping with Vision 2030. Okay. So we had at the time the 1997 National Poverty Eradication Program and National Poverty Eradication Policy. So mm -hmm. you know it would have preceded um, uh, Vision 2030. Right, right, right. So we wanted to get that alignment. And so we want to bring everything up to par with where we were in terms of what we were looking at, um, the coordination and the implementation of this national, um, national program. program. So from that, and understanding the importance 
that partners themselves have placed on coordinating um, their own efforts to ensure that there are greater synergies, greater collaboration, less reduplication, and less things duplication, like that. we're plugging the gaps, etc. Mm -hmm. This was supported and it took a number of years of consultation um, with stakeholders and consensus building that this is necessary at this time. All right, and um, well, I wanted to ask you about uh, the buy in from members of the public, but we'll get to that a little, yes. a little bit later. Let's just, okay. for right now, I want you to talk to me about the specific objectives that the, the National Poverty Reduction Program intends to achieve and, you know, the timelines associated with that. Okay. So there are two goals that are associated with the policy and the program. The first one is to eradicate extreme poverty, mm -hmm. and as I said before, that's food poverty mm -hmm. by 2022. Food poverty meaning persons can don't have access to basic food basic items. food basic nutrition of food okay right and we're trying to eliminate that by 2022 2022 yes okay. 2022 right, so, and we're going to get into that what whatever the other targets and the well. other goal is to reduce the nas overall national prevalence of poverty to significantly below 10 percent mm -hmm by 2030. So we have a, a few more years. I'm sure some get, persons online to get to like that. 10 percent. <laughs> below. Be, and that's like why that. we say significantly but, below. We can right. get all the way down to zero, which would be, of course, our absolute ideal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Miss Miss Shelley and Edwards is giving us the government's objectives, the plans to help eradicate, well, not eradicate, but significantly decrease the amount of poverty that exists in Jamaica by the year 2022 and beyond, and up, to, up to 2030 yes, as well. in keeping with Vision 2030. I mean, if you have any questions about the, pro about the program, the policy, we'd like you to just text in. We, we have her right here. We want you to send in a question so she can answer them yes. right away so that there's no, there's no you know, confusion or anything like that. We want you to take advantage of the opportunity. Send in your questions. We really implore you. Now, Ms. Edwards. Yes. What are I understand that the program is being rolled out in three year cycles. What are the focus areas for the first medium term program which should run from twenty eighteen to twenty twenty one? Yes. So the first medium term program has five program areas mm -hmm. or five focus areas. We want to address extreme poverty and basic needs. Mm -hmm. At the same time, building human capital development and economic empowerment of individuals and households. That will be critical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ensuring that persons have access to a livelihood, access mm -hmm. to employment, well, right? That, access critical. to the means through which they will be able to consume more and thereby positively influencing um, that poverty line and their status. They are lifting themselves, they lifting out, of themselves out of poverty right, with right, all right. the support that these programs of the government and its partners can give. The next very important element is what is noted in the, in the program as psychosocial, cultural, and normative adv advancement. Okay. And what this basically it means, like a lot of big words yes, it sounds like people, big words, but big it's words. not big at all. It's, it's something that we are very familiar with. Mm -hmm. It's attitudes, mm -hmm. values, attitudes, practices that perpetuate um, poverty. So the mindset, mindset issues, poverty, the idea of certainly, getting people to certainly, you know, re-socialize, that kind re of thing. That's certainly. Can so, you, can you, um, what, what, what kind of programs do you think I will be? Because I think that's that's a big issue in terms of getting yes. persons to move away from a poverty mindset. How, how, how are you going to achieve that? Right. So, it's this component will address individuals, households, including children and youth mm -hmm. because you have to start young start mm, early definitely. so children and youth um where we look at parenting parents mm -hmm. um caregivers as well as of course service providers because mm -hmm. our attitude towards those we serve mm -hmm. right has also to be um positive at all times and just ensuring that we are equipped with all the right tools um, in order to um, influence, in order to support, in order to encourage persons in terms of the various um, 
attitude towards even taking up opportunities that mm -hmm. are provided. Mm -hmm. In this component as well, we also want to identify and highlight the cultural practices that are positive. Mm -hmm. Not just the negative, but those that are positive. The coping strategies that okay. are being implemented among the poor that are effective. Yeah, Mr. Right? Well, many so, of us can learn so from ourselves. of course, you can and teach a person how to fish. Mm -hmm. Right? Or you can give a person a fish, mm -hmm. I must say. Yeah. But teaching them how to fish is even more important. Yeah, but guess what's more important? What's more important you tell me. is giving them that desire to even want to fish. That's true. Teaching them and that ambition in the first place. Yes. Having an interest in, in doing this fishing. Mm. So we know this example very well. So this is what the psychosocial component is about. It's about mentorship. It's about training. It's about ensuring that there is support, access to information, mm. and all of those things that are necessary to change how people view um, their circumstances and right. what can be done. To well, it. I believe naturally one of the things that will be involved in this process is strengthening the social na social safety net. And for persons online who might be confused, that that has to do with things like the PATH programs, yes. social welfare benefits, NIS, things like that. So I'm, I'm assuming that's part of the process. Can you explain to me how that will be incorporated in the in the program? Right. So that is a part of the the uh, program areas. Mm -hmm. That's the basic needs aspect of it, mm -hmm. as well as also human capital um, development aspect. Mm -hmm. I was outlining five. I think I was at three. Okay. Yes, no, there are two okay. more. Right, go ahead, but go ahead. just to answer your question, indeed, looking at the transfers, cash transfer support mm -hmm. that is there, that is going to be necessary in order to break the intergenerational cycle of poverty, mm -hmm. as is with the objective of PATH, for example. There are also persons who are destitute, mm. and there is also the poor relief program right, as another right. program that is out there. So we are looking to identify all of those programs that address basic needs mm -hmm. and to ensure that they are adequately supported, they are reaching um, the, the target groups mm -hmm. that they are intended to reach, um, and so forth. So we believe that supporting these programs will be necessary. But of course, we have to ensure that the empowerment aspect and the livelihood creation, the facilitation and creating access to employment and um, small business support, etc., cetera, um, strengthening the livelihood of farmers and fishers, many of whom are well represented among this um, group that we are speaking okay. about today. Well, it seems we have a question online from a Miss Diane Davy. Thank you so much for your question. We appreciate it. She's asking, where can persons get more information on the National Poverty Reduction Program? Hold it up so persons can see. This is the physical copy, but is yes. there a soft copy? Where can persons get access to that? Right. Thank you very much for your question. The document is available on the Planning Institute of Jamaica's website. And it is also being made available in local parish libraries mm -hmm. and other libraries um, across Jamaica. So you can contact the Planning Institute of Jamaica mm -hmm. if you need a copy or if, if you need access to that um, electronic copy. But it is available on our website. All right, wonderful. So there you yes. have it, persons. You can go online and check it out. You can go to the library and check it out. There are so many ways you can get access to the information and find out how the government is working to reduce poverty. It's also on the PIOJ Facebook, Facebook page, as I'm page. reliably Certainly. informed by our technicians. It is on the Facebook page, yes. All right, wonderful. Thank so you. So do you believe that you are prepared or equipped, you have the necessary resources to ensure that we're able to meet the, the objectives of the first term, which is from 2018 to 21? Do we have the, the infrastructure in place to get these done successfully? Okay. So I'd like to go back to your previous question okay. before I get to this one. All right. And just to outline the other two program areas, the next is um, strengthening basic community infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So we want to ensure that the basic amenities are there, the infrastructure, both social capital, physical capital mm -hmm. within, within communities in rural and urban areas. Mm -hmm. 
we also want to strengthen the institutions themselves that are responsible for implementing these very important strategies. Mm -hmm. So um, we want to look at capacity building and training and helping them to identify resources, whatever it is that is necessary so that they can be more effective. Okay. And we have our non-government partners that are going to be critical and are, are critical right. and are a part of this program that will be working towards um, this end. Okay. So, so that means your civil, service, civil society groups, your Food for the Poor, your, your Salvation Army, are things on like board. that, you can bring them in and help yes, them to work with the Yes, they are on board. Uh, you mentioned something also in terms of working with them to get grants through the different international donor agencies to strengthen, I can, I can see things like that through right. programs like JC Fund so mm. on. Certainly, certainly. Right. So we want to ensure that the programs or, or the support that is provided by our international development partners mm -hmm. are aligned to the poverty reduction program and that we are supporting what the government has identified as its priorities. Okay. Wonderful. So right. let me bring you back so to the question. Equipped? Yes, we are, yes. Are we equipped? Do we have what? Do we have the resources and infrastructure to get this done successfully? Okay. So one of the the very good things, as I mentioned, this is an, a coordinating effort. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the resources are already um, available through the various programs, mm -hmm. and of course. We can always use more resources, naturally, naturally. both physical, both financial, financial and human resources as we, we move forward. But I believe we have the foundation from which to start. And the good thing about medium term programs or programs within a three year span, mm. you have that capacity, that chance to look back at how you have done in these three years okay. to inform how you move forward mm -hmm. but i believe we have a very good um place to start right. in terms of the resources that we have so let us start once again ladies yes. and gentlemen we have in studio miss shelly ann edwards program manager for the poverty reduction coordinating unit at the planning institute of jamaica and she's here talking about the national poverty reduction program this is the program that the government is putting in place to try and end well to re significantly reduce poverty in the country by the year 2030. Um, Ms. Ms. Edwards, once again, who are the main target groups for the first medium-term program? Who are the persons that we're, you, you outline a few like farmers and so on, but uh, mm -hmm. get even more targeted for me. Who are the persons that we're targeting under this first segment of the, of the program? Okay. The target groups are, are linked or aligned mm -hmm. to the five areas mm -hmm. that I mentioned, the basic the basic um, support for persons who are destitute and in need. So, of course, you have among those groups your children, your pregnant and lactating women, the okay. elderly, persons with disabilities, persons who are homeless, persons who need basic um, support in terms of even um, food, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Definitely. That kind of, uh, of, of need must be met. So those persons are some of the persons who will be targeted under that component. Another component is the economic empowerment and human capital development. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to target the breadwinners, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. The working poor, those who are working, but they are still facing definitely, um, definitely. that lack and that need. You have to target those persons. And we also will be looking at some of the, the entrepreneurs, Right, business people, people who Small might might can. need some capital or some business support. Mm -hmm. How is it that we strengthen that? We will be looking at that group. Okay. We will also be addressing the needs of persons who are f farmers, mm -hmm. fishers, etc. So the psychosocial I mentioned again, we look right. at parents, right, right, we, right, we look right. at young people. So you're casting et cetera. Up very so wide. It, net. It, it is wide, okay. but specific at the same time to each area and right. who is the best person or, or the best groups to be targeted that will be able to make an impact on the outcome that you're seeking, All right. right? That is to, to reduce poverty. And of course, I must, I must emphasize that in order for us to make that dent into the poverty figures, mm -hmm. we have to influence 
household consumption. Mm -hmm. In what way? Because that is that is how, as I explained before, how poverty is measured. Right, right, so right. you have to be able to ensure that the, the, there is employment and other forms of income support that families have access to. So right. th that is going to be one of those critical features. All right, Ms. Rose, talk to me. What is the role of the PIOJ and its Poverty Reduction Coordinating Unit, your unit, yes. in implementing the National Poverty Reduction Program? Okay, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. So the PIOJ is the focal point for the National Poverty Reduction Program. We will provide technical input, right? From As you know, we have several divisions, sustainable development mm -hmm. or economic policy division or social policy division. We have a number of divisions that can inform with the data, with the statistics, best practice information, etc. So that research element will be an important part. Mm -hmm. We are also the secretariat okay. for the National Poverty Reduction Program Committee. Mm -hmm. So a committee has been established with several of these key partners on board and we provide the secretarial support for okay. that. We are also responsible for ensuring that there is monitoring and evaluation of the, and reporting that's, on, that's on the outcomes of the program yeah. over time. The transparency, so, the accountability to the members of the public. Pre right? Precisely. So we are basically the driving force um, behind the the implementation of this national program. With a program as wide and far-reaching as this, I'm sure that many, there are many persons online who probably might be interested in playing a part, getting involved, finding yes. some way that they too can lend a hand in eliminating poverty. Are there any mechanisms through which persons can get on board and actively participate in, 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 in executing this program? Of course, certainly. As, as I said, partnership. Mm -hmm is going to be critical as we move forward. How do we strengthen partnership at all levels, mm -hmm. from the individual to the small business groups to the large business groups, mm -hmm. private sector people, NGOs of all different shapes and forms with um, an interest and with the, the programs to support the initiatives. We believe that through through these interventions that this program can become more successful. However, we have to recognize though that while we may have identified a number of key partners, we believe at the community level there are a number of supports that can be given um, to the community groups, mm -hmm. families, etc. So depending on what the nature of the support that you want to give is, then there are different mechanisms through which you can do so. You can do so directly through the various programs that are being implemented by ministries, departments, and agencies of government, those that are, are, are in the field of education, mm -hmm. health, um, business development, etc. So you, can, you have man, can man, many opportunities to get, and, involved. Um, to get involved. And so my last question, Ms. Edwards, is really this. Um, just to ensure that persons don't feel like this is a program that's being implemented, like persons in the target group are, mm -hmm. are, are the, the, the island's poor, persons in, living in poverty, to make sure that they don't feel like this is a program being implemented on them without necessarily their buy-in or their consensus. Okay. So is there any way to, are there plans to have consultations or even public education to raise awareness about what you're doing and how it will impact them for the better and that kind of thing. Okay, I think that's an excellent question, an mm. excellent last question. Mm. Thank you so much. We did not develop this policy or this program without the input of the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. We were very keen on ensuring that they were involved at every stage. And we, are continue, uh, we continue to be open to feedback and input um, from all stakeholders. Of course, the stakeholders have the opportunity to contact the PIOJ, the Poverty mm -hmm. Reduction Coordinating Unit, or they can contact various ministries, departments, and agencies implementing relevant programs. So we welcome the input of all stakeholders, all beneficiaries, and this is a program that is not being developed 
just for you, mm -hmm. but it is a program that is being developed and implemented with you. All right, wonderful. So I, I believe that opportunity is there, and we welcome it. I think that's a positive note for us to wrap on. There you have it, members of the public, ladies and gentlemen, listening online. The government is executing a poverty reduction program aimed at re significantly reducing the level of poverty in Jamaica. And they're looking for your buy-in. They're looking for your support. So any, which way in, any way in which you can lend assistance, you're totally welcome to do so. And if you'd like to get more information about the program, as, as we've established before, you can go online. You can visit pioj.gov.jm. You can see it there. You can visit the Planning Institute's Facebook page. You can also contact them. At, the numbers are here. 960-9339 and 906-4463-4. You can contact them and get all the information you need about the Poverty Reduction Program and how you can get involved because this will need the public buy-in, the buy-in of every Jamaican citizen to make it a reality and make it successful. Yeah. And we urge you to get on board. Inform yourself and get on board. And all that's left for me to do is just to say thank Miss Edwards for coming in. It has been our pleasure hosting you. Thank, thank you, you so much for sharing me. information. And um, we encourage members of the public once again to just, this is our platform through which you can interact with members of the government, persons working to make a difference in the lives of the members of the country. So look forward to our next broadcast next Thursday. And we invite your participation. We invite your comments. We invite your queries, everything that you have to say. This is the platform for you to share your voice. I have been your host, Vaughn Davis. Thank you so much for joining in. Please have a good day. These copies are, are yours. yours. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So I, at one is yours, and you could give one to your library. Yeah, or your yeah, I might just keep it myself. I wasn't done looking through all of it. Yes. So, one yeah. is yours. No. All right. And Thank the other much. for your library. Right. I'm fascinated by it because yes. poverty is a major issue. Yeah, there's a lot of hard work that have been put in it. And as yeah, I said, I um, it's, it's, not like that, it's not that you don't have programs. But it's the coordination mm -hmm. and the en ensuring that they are being monitored and evaluated mm -hmm. and supported towards the outcome mm -hmm. that is important. I think that's our key to exit. Yes. Oh, yes, it's the big chair. Yes. Okay. I just wanted the metro person following along could appreciate that this is not just, you know, yes, a yes. piece of paper that yes. persons are reading yes, on. Yes, and yes. They're going to implement stuff and it's not going to impact their lives or they're not going to see the benefits. I want yes. to make sure I made that connection. Yes. That was nice meeting you. How long was the interview? Um, it looks like it was about 30 minutes. There wow. You see the time passes, right? You said right? 15. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we got into it. This part two one day. Which part? This part. Got the plug in pulling down? Mm, well, everything, yeah. I want to know how to do all of it. I will teach you. I'll teach you. No problem. No Yay. problem. No problem. No problem. Come on. This is actually oh, the, the first. Set it up and 